speaking to a liberal, would increasing spending and getting worse results be a good thing? <laughs> veterans who are realizing that this government has had a mean-spirited and cold-hearted attitude towards them. Those who have applied for disability tax credits have realized it as well. Now, just last week, the Revenue Minister told this House, and I quote, I would like to reassure all Canadians who receive the disability tax credit that the eligibility criteria have not changed. But on Friday, her parliamentary secretary apologized for that very change, which saw 80% of applicants see their claims denied. So can the Prime Minister explain, if there wasn't a policy, uh, a policy change, exactly what did his government apologize for? Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, as a government, we are committed to ensuring uh, that citizens get all the benefits to which they are entitled. Uh, that is something we've been focused on over the past two years, and that is something uh, that we are delivering on. Uh, we have heard uh, that some of the uh, clarification letter uh, has resulted in negative impacts, uh, and that's why we are making uh, uh, the uh, looking at it carefully to ensure that indeed uh, we're getting uh, the delivery of services that Canadians expect.